Okay, good afternoon. Today is our Costco date day. We do this probably like once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Come to Costco, get a hot dog or a slice of pizza, and it's like a little lunch date. Cheers, me. Cheers. <laughs> okay, quick little Costco haul. We didn't get too much, but I wanted to have just some healthy snacks for my trip this weekend. I thought this was a pretty good deal. It's just four little snack packs of veggies and little ranch dipping sauces. So I thought that would be perfect to bring on a trip. And then Costco has the best grapes and these limited edition strawberries. They're organic, they look amazing, and I don't know, the limited edition just really drew me in and they were like $7 for two pounds. These cashews with sea salt. My parents had this Kirkland brand bag at their house the last time that we were there and these cashews were delicious. So I got some of those. And then these were both recommendations from TikTok from nutrition people. We've already gone through a bag of both of these. So I know that these are both really good. These protein balls are so delicious. They're like a nice little sweet treat but not too sweet with protein obviously and then these unreal bars they're dark chocolate and coconut and it's basically like an almond joy dupe but without the little almond in it so these are really good and they're all individually wrapped like this so i love having a little stash of these in my cooler when i'm working because we all know i love a little sweet treat okay good morning i have been sick the last few days so i think the last thing in this video was us going to costco <laughs> and I've just had a cold and been in bed for like the last three days. So I'm about to pack up for a three day trip and I'm actually excited to be going to work right now just because I've been so bored and just been in bed for like three days. My voice still doesn't sound great, but I am feeling much, much better now. I'm just about to get packed up for another three day trip and I just got some new packing cubes. These have been my favorite packing cubes for a few years now. These are from Trip Travel Gear on Amazon. These are the compression packing cubes. Packing cubes are such a game changer with packing but especially these packing cubes because they are the compression ones so what i do is i roll my clothes up and then you zip the first zipper and then you can squish it down a little bit and then zip the second zipper and it just compresses down and it saves so much space and you're able to just pack so much more stuff so if you're like me and you are a carry-on only type of traveler these are perfect because i end up being able to pack so much more stuff than I would have been able to if I had just rolled everything and just left it without any packing cubes at all. So this is a pack of six packing cubes. There are different sizes. There's this little pouch that you can put shoes in. And then there's also this laundry bag that rolls up so that you can keep your dirty clothes separate from your clean clothes and your packing cubes. So what I've been doing lately on three day trips is just packing one of these larger packing cubes. Like I said, I roll everything up and this is perfect for a three day trip for me for the amount of clothes that I'm bringing. And this brand on Amazon has really good quality stuff. Like I said, I've been using those packing cubes for a few years now. And they also have other things like toiletry bags. So they have this toiletry bag that can hang up so there's a little hook up at the top so you can hang it. Y'all know I love to hang my toiletry bag in the bathroom. It's got several different zipper compartments and then this clear pouch at the bottom actually pops off. So you can travel with these together or separate. So if you wanted to keep like liquids in this one, it'd be a lot easier to clean. Here's another little pouch that you could put shoes or hair stuff. I don't know, things that might be a little bit longer. I like to keep all of my essentials together in a little pouch like this. And I love that this one is clear so you can see everything that's in there. If I don't have a clear pouch, then I'm just rummaging through stuff and I'll lose stuff in a pouch if I can't see everything that's in there. And this one also has this little buckle at the top. So if you wanted to clip it onto your luggage or if you wanted to hang it up, you could also do that. But again, this is perfect for just traveling with a little carry-on. Just keep your little essentials in here or your liquids. And then this is the last little toiletry pouch. I love this color. I think this tan color is so pretty. And then it opens up pretty big and it's got several different compartments in there. These pockets, I don't know if you can really tell, but these are stretchy. So a lot of times pockets like this there's really not a lot of give to them, but I really like that this material kind of stretches out. Also has a zipper on the inside in here. And then there's another mesh zipper pouch up here. And then you've got another big zipper pouch on the back here. This one is just really, really pretty to me. So like I said, all of these are really great if you just like to travel with your things organized and you're a carry-on traveler. That is how I am. I never check bags. So I'm always traveling with little mini liquids and things like that. And I just love to have everything organized and packing cubes and organized toiletry bags 
just make traveling for me so much easier. If you want to check out anything from Trip Travel Gear, I will have them linked in the description box below. If you think you're a good packer without packing cubes and you think you don't need packing cubes, I'm telling you, just try them out. Just one trip and they will change your life. It is 11.36 a.m. We are leaving here at 12.30. I slept great last night, which is kind of crazy because I've been reading a thriller. I started, what was it called? Never Lie by Frida McFadden. She wrote the Housemaid series and I loved those books. And this one, I think I like this one even better. So I started that book yesterday and I'm 87% done with it. So I got to the point last night where I was so tired, but I could not put the book down. I was like trying to stay awake reading it like this. Today's Easter, so happy Easter. Sydney had these Alani news on our last trip and they are so delicious. Normally I like Celsius better than Alani news, but this flavor, this peach flavor, oh my gosh, it's so good. So I brought a few of these on our trip. The only thing about these and Celsius is that they have biotin, biotin and B12, and both of those things break me out. And my skin is actually really clear right now. If I end up with a pimple, I know exactly who did it. We've got a long day ahead of us. We are going, I forgot where I was for a second, but we're going from Orlando to DC and then DC to LA. DC to LA is going to be, I'm going to guess, let's guess, I'm guessing five and a half maybe like 520 but i'm definitely guessing over five hours i think maybe here to dc might be like two hours so that's a very long day for me personally <laughs> All right, it is now at 10.30 p.m. We just made it to LA. That turned out to be a longer day than I was expecting. The flight here from DC, I thought it was gonna be under six hours and it was, it was five hours and 55 minutes. I was expecting like 5.20, five and a half, but six hours? I was not expecting a six hour flight today, but actually it did end up being six hours because um, we had to go around weather. So it actually ended up being longer than six hours. So I take that back. So yeah, it was a pretty long day, but we have a nice long layover here in LA. So I'm gonna try to go to the beach tomorrow. Hopefully the weather's nice. It was actually really cold whenever we got here, but here is the hotel room really quick. We've got two beds. I've already set up shop as you can see. I'm a little sketched out because I'm on the ground floor. Opened this up to see if I had a view and I got the pool right outside. I don't know, it might just be me. I don't like to be on the ground floor. Big mirror, lamp, chair, TV, dresser, another mirror, closet here. We've got a fridge, a big fridge, and then a coffee, and then the bathroom over here. I actually ended up finishing two books today. The one that I was telling y'all about last night or this morning, and then another book by Colleen Hoover. I think it was slammed. Um, it's a series, so I don't know if I'm getting them out of order. It was really, really good. It was really cute. If you travel a lot and you love to read, I highly recommend getting a Kindle if you don't already have one because I used to carry books around and I used to have like a scarcity mentality with books. Like I wouldn't want, like I would try to savor it and make the book last if I only had one book on a trip that I was going on. And now that I have a Kindle, like I have 10 books downloaded on there at one time, but I used to just like read them really slowly. Like I was gonna run out of books, like I was gonna read all the books. So yeah, I really love my Kindle. Good morning, it is 11.38 AM. Our van time is at two, like 2.20 or something. I'll have to look, but it's at two something. So I don't have a ton of time to go hang out at the beach, but I definitely wanna just go outside, get some sunshine and go for a walk. I'm wearing a bathing suit, so I definitely could lay out for a little bit, but I don't really know if I'm feeling like getting all sandy and everything, but I'm definitely gonna bring my Kindle just in case so I can sit there and read for a little bit. And I don't actually even know if it's very warm outside, but it's definitely really sunny. It's only 59 degrees. Let's step outside and see what we think. It's actually pretty nice. There's also tennis courts over there. I wish Josh was with me and we brought tennis stuff. That would be so fun. 
but yeah, I think I'm gonna go walk over there. I heard a little safety tip recently where if you're walking around a city that you're not familiar with, you have directions pulled up on your phone, have the directions playing on your headphones so that you're not looking down at your phone and walking. Um, I thought that was really smart and I hadn't heard that before. And then another little flight attendant tip that I have, I actually brought a Trader Joe's bag with me on the floor over. I brought this to take to the beach with me because obviously it's so light and folds up to almost nothing. Because if I wanted to bring like a cute little beach bag, it would be a little heavier and it would take up a lot more space than this. So if you don't care about you know, having an aesthetic bag on a layover or vacation or whatever. Just bring a little grocery bag like this. And also I feel like having a bag like this instead of like a cute, more expensive looking bag, nobody's gonna try to steal anything out of my Trader Joe's bag. I don't think, you know? I'm always thinking about stuff like that. I brought this Eversnug travel blanket that folds up into the little pillowcase. I brought this to keep me warm, obviously, on the plane, but also I was planning on using it at the beach if I went to the beach, but I hadn't used this one before this trip because I have a few of these. This is my first time using it and I forgot how soft and plush they are when you first get it and you haven't washed it yet. So now I'm like, oh, I don't want to get this all sandy and have to wash it. So I think I might actually just leave it here. Still gonna bring my Kindle. It is 1.30 now. It was a little chilly outside, so I just went for a walk for like an hour and came back. I didn't sit on the beach or anything, but it was nice walking around and I'm glad I had a sweater. If I'd had leggings with me instead, actually, now that I think of it, I did bring leggings, whatever. But if I'd have been wearing leggings instead of shorts, it would have been perfect. And I brought my own food on this trip, so I didn't go pay an arm and a leg down there to get lunch or anything. And now it's time to get ready. I have like 45 minutes until I have to be downstairs. I feel really strongly that this should be a one leg home kind of trip. And it is not, unfortunately. I mean, we only have two legs today, but still just one leg home would be so nice after that long day yesterday. So we're going from here to Phoenix and then Phoenix to Dallas. And it's gonna be a late one. We get home at like midnight. The first leg is pretty short. I think it's like maybe an hour and a half, an hour and 20. And then I think Phoenix to Dallas is like two hours, two and a half hours. So it's not a super long day. It just would be really nice to have one leg home. I've also been wearing my real ring to work lately because I've actually lost like two or three of my Amazon fake rings. I've been wearing my real ring and I've been a nervous wreck the last few trips that I've been on. I need to order a few more fake rings because I'm just so scared that it's going to get bent or that I'm going to leave it, you know, in a hotel room on a layover or something. It just makes me nervous. Also on the topic of Amazon jewelry, I love my little cheap Amazon earrings. However, they, they don't feel too good after like wearing them all day. They'll make my ears red and just kind of like sensitive so i don't know if like maybe if i had like expensive ones or like real gold or something i don't know if i would actually buy any earrings that were more expensive than 15 bucks on amazon but maybe if they didn't hurt my ears i would definitely think about it <laughs> these are so cute but at the end of the day they my ears don't feel so good Just got back to Dallas. It is 11.46 p.m. Josh's car is here. It got dropped off here from a Turo renter yesterday. I'm really hoping that it just got dropped off here yesterday because when it gets dropped off here and then it sits here, we pay for the parking, which I wanted to tell y'all about this. The last time that Josh and I went to visit my parents, we rented a car on Turo out of Nashville. So we flew into Nashville and um, the car was there and you know, they didn't drop it off for us in person, which is fine. But what I thought was crazy and so frustrating, they charged us for parking at the airport in the lot that they, that they parked in. Um, and it was $20. It was like, if it was only there for like, 
an hour it was like ten dollars and then two hours or something and then it was 20. and the thing was they dropped it off an hour early so like i had the time picked for us to pick it up and they dropped the car off an hour before that time so if they had dropped it off at the time that i said we wanted to pick it up then we wouldn't have had to spend any money at all or it would have been like ten dollars for you know the first 30 minutes to an hour or whatever it was i can't remember so i thought that was so outrageous i'm just thinking about that now because we're doing the same thing like they dropped it off at the airport and i'm taking it home but i would never ask somebody to pay 24 dollars a day or whatever it is to park in this parking garage just for our convenience isn't that so rude i didn't like it also i started the second book in that series that i was telling y'all about yesterday and it is not good at all the book just didn't need a sequel if you plan on reading it just like skip ahead like 15 seconds because i don't want to spoil anything for you but like they should have just lived happily ever after uh, in the first book like the last chapter should have been like five years into the future you know they're married raising their brothers together and happily ever after baby on the way you know something like that it didn't need a part two you know what i mean we only made like less than a hundred dollars from this tarot trip um so i'm hoping that we don't get charged you know like half of that okay we got 54 dollars so we actually did get charged half of that to have it parked at the airport for i don't know was it two days i guess it probably counted for two days and if i went and asked the person who rented the car even to pay for one day of parking wouldn't that be crazy i think it would be crazy 